Hey guys, it's Vic815 on my first gun review, official gun review, uh, and it's going to be of the Smith & Wesson M&P 9C for compact. Uh, I have it in a Galco King Tuck holster, which I'll do a review on that separately later, but for now we're going to focus on the gun. Um, this, I have about a hundred rounds through it. And uh, it's been my primary carry for about three weeks now. And I have to say I'm very happy. It's the first MMP that I've owned. But I can assure you it won't be the last. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the safety check out of the way. It is loaded because it's my carry gun. So let's empty that. Double check. Chamber's empty. There's no magazine. We're clear pull the trigger. Um, if you're curious about my personal self-defense loads, uh, they're 147 grain uh, Federal HST-2. Um, they're great, great bullets. Um, expansion is usually very uniform. Uh, you can thank uh, TN Outdoors 9 for that and watching his videos of uh, these bullets in the uh, sim test media. Um, anyways, back to the gun. Uh, the gun comes with two mags. I don't have the other one currently with me. This one is got the pinky extension, but it's still 12 rounds. It doesn't add uh, anything to capacity. The other one is flush with the gun. Let's check that again, make sure there's nothing in there. Um, it comes with three interchangeable back straps. As you already know, you twist the uh, special tool back here, you pull out back strap comes right out. Uh, I've decided to keep the medium on there. It's the one that I feel fits my hands the best. Uh, you know, my girlfriend probably prefers the small, but the medium is a lot better for me to shoot. I have slightly bigger hands. Uh, I mean, if you're watching this review, I'm sure you've seen other reviews on this gun. The serrations are no joke. They are very good. It's very easy to get a grip on the gun. Like I said, I have a hundred rounds through it, uh, zero failure to anything. There's no failure to eject, no failure to fire. And, you know, I've heard a lot of complaints about this gun and the trigger being mushy. I actually think that it is pretty good. I mean, I'm not an expert in any way, shape, or form, but even the reset doesn't bother me. It's not very audible, but it feels good. Um, not to mention... If you're considering this gun and you're watching this review because you're considering this gun, I'm pretty sure you're also considering uh, a Glock 19 because that's the number one carry pistol in 9mm that everyone should own according to people on YouTube. And I agree. I've owned a Glock 19 and um, it was a good carry pistol. It was slightly larger than I like, but um, it was a very good pistol. But it's kind of why I moved into this department because, you know, if the clothing that I'm wearing for that day allows for it, I can do the extended uh, grip, which in that case, the dimensions become that of a Glock 19 or just about. But, you know, if you got more of a form-fitting shirt on, you can go with the flush uh, base plate mag and, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll conceal a little bit more. It'll be like, you know, you can't even get your pinky on it. It'll be like a baby Glock, like a Glock 26 chambered in 9mm. Uh, and... You know, that's what you want. You want that option for conceal concealability. Uh, but like I said, it's been my everyday carry gun for a couple weeks now. I'm very happy with it. Uh, you know, Smith & Wesson has a very good reputation in revolvers mostly, but the MMP is starting to prove itself in the polymer pistol field. And it's up there with Glock in my opinion. Um, another reason I got it was I heard the ergonomics were a lot better on this gun, and I have to agree, the ergonomics are uh, much, much sweeter than the Glock. The Glock is, it feels good in the hand, especially a Gen 4 with the textured frame, but this just feels a lot better. Even without the pinky extension, it just feels really good in my hand. Um, what else can I say about it? There's a model that comes, this one has the ambidextrous slide lock, as you can see. Or slide release, or magazine, or I'm sorry, not uh, magazine release, uh, slide lock, or slide catch, as some people call it. Um, it's ambidextrous, but it does not have any external safeties. I personally don't like guns with external safeties for concealed carry. 
uh, just a personal preference. Not to mention I've seen the model that comes with the uh, external safeties and it adds like about a half an inch on each side. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but they're big. I've seen them and they're separated and they're like two big wings on the back of your gun. And obviously if you're going to conceal with it, width is a, plays an important factor. Uh, it has a chamber indicator, so when you have some brass in there you'll be able to see it. Not too well, but it works. Got your standard uh, three dot sights white dot sights not bad uh, the gun is very accurate I'm not gonna lie I'm not the best shooter but it uh, it really holds its own against like I said Glock and even uh, XDs which I will this is like I said this is my first review my first gun review but I plan on doing a lot more reviews on gun and gear uh, and maybe an update on this gun once I've had it for a little bit longer and put some more rounds down range with it and if you're asking why the lettering is white uh, you can look up on YouTube. I do this to all my guns. Um, you get a white paint marker and you color in the engraved sections and it, it gives a nice look to the gun. I do it to my mags as well. You can see there the 12 round mag. But overall it's a good gun. It's a good concealed carry gun. You got 12 rounds plus one, 13 rounds, a uh, good amount of firepower, 9mm. I'm happy with it as far as stopping power. Um, I don't feel the need to have to carry a 45 wherever I go. Um, and it's a good pistol. It's reliable so far. And it feels great in my hand. Great to shoot. Disassembly is fairly easy. Very uh, similar to a Glock. Um, I'll do a, a field stripping video, but I'll take it apart for you just so you can see. You uh, slide the lock... I'm sorry, you lock the slide back in place. Some people will use this tool... They'll take it out and remove, as per the manual, uh, a lever in here. I don't personally like that. I just, uh, that's supposed to be a safety feature so you don't have to pull the trigger when you disassemble the gun. But I like to just pull this lever down, let go of the slide, pull the trigger, pull forward, and it comes right apart. I mean, if you have to field strip it, quick and in a hurry for whatever reason or even if you're at the range I don't want to be fiddling around with you know the disconnect or anything like that I just want to be able to take it down like you would a Glock and you put it together just as easy make sure you line them up with the rails there you go you're back in function uh, it's got the uh, two little Picatinny rails here or this Picatinny rail system for light laser whatever you like obviously I haven't added anything to it. I don't think I'm going to add anything to it just yet. But um, it's a great pistol. If you're debating on it, if you like 9mm, if you're debating between a Glock 19 and maybe this option, or, you know, a shield, an MMP shield, or anything like that, MMP is, in my opinion, an ergonomically very comfortable gun. It's reliable. It's been proven. And uh, I feel like, honestly, when I shoot this gun... It feels like there's even less recoil than in my standard Glock 19 and Glock 17. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's because it's a heavier gun. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. But it, it just it feels great when shooting it. And um, like I said, this is a very good option. If you don't want to go with the 19, if you think the 19 is too big, or you don't like Glock, you hate Glock, whatever the case may be, this may be something to consider. A uh, very viable option. Okay? Well, that's been my review, and thank you. Have a nice day.